Hello, I'm Chris, and welcome to Faith Elements. I'm out here in the parking lot with my uh, trusted little friend that I drive to work every day. And I bought this car about a year ago, a little more than a year ago, and we, our family went looking for like a third car when my son got old enough to drive, and we didn't want to buy something big and expensive. We didn't want to take on another car payment, so I went looking for something very inexpensive. And I found this car, it's electric, so that it's cheap to operate and it was cheap enough that I could pay cash for and not have to take on another car payment. Well, one of the reasons it was a little bit inexpensive is you know, the rims were bent and I got those replaced, but it also has like a couple little blemishes on the body. And this one in particular is one that I see every time I look at the car. Now you've got this big, huge, enormous car and what do I see every time? I see that and I think about replacing this fender because it's the only thing making the car kind of not pretty, if you will. You know, I have these—I have a couple freckles on my face that I see every time I see myself, and I hone in on those freckles. And I think, well, oh, I'd like to have that freckle lasered off. I don't know if you can do that, but you know, we look at these little tiny things instead of seeing the big picture. Sometimes, you know, we—I can sit in my house and I can see the little teeny tiny dents in my drywall or little imperfections, and I think. Oh man, I should get out the spackle, I should fix that or something. And you know, that's one thing we tend to do in our human nature, is we tend to look at those things that we see as sinful or we see as wrong in our lives, and we think that somehow identifies who we are. I've had a couple friends who have even said this statement to me, something along these lines of, you know, I, I've been thinking about going back to church, but I need to quit drinking. Or I've been thinking about going back to church, but I need to stop smoking weed or I've been thinking about going back to church but I need to fix this thing so Jesus has this statement to say about people who think they have to like clean themselves up to come to him you know it's like that's really what is at the heart of things is we feel we have to be perfect to be in the presence of Jesus and, and to be part of a church or whatever that couldn't be farther from the truth that's you know the, the church is not a place full of perfection and perfect people by any means it's full of all sorts of people that make mistakes and screw up regularly. Jesus had some really cool things to say about that. He um, was was hanging out with this guy named Levi, and he's reclined at a table in his house. This is in Mark chapter two, verse fifteen. It says, and he is reclined, and as he reclined at a table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. And the scribes of the Pharisees, you know, they were the religious elite of the day, if you will. They were, they were in the club. They were the cool guys. And a little bit judgmental, as we see a lot of times when they are written about the New Testament. And the uh, scribes of the Pharisees, they, were, they saw that he was sit, eating with sinners and tax collectors. And they said to the disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Think about that for a moment. Think about that every time you try to point out your imperfections. Think about every time you try to focus on those things that you think makes the complete picture of who you are. I have a complete car here that drives and gets me to where I go, or go to, want to go every day, but yet I focus on this little thing. And I think I've decided I kind of want to keep this fender around as a reminder that I have imperfection in my life, but that doesn't identify this car. I have perfection, I have imperfections in my life that I need to not identify as a holistic descriptor of who I am. That's something to pray about, don't you think? Thanks for watching. Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.